Hello, I'm Kerry Fink with Helping Seniors of Brevard, and it's time for Friday's Helping Seniors Update. Today is Friday, it's June the 26th, and I hope you've had a good week and are getting ready for a really nice weekend ahead. Uh, as you know, we come out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and try to give an update a little bit about what's going on around Brevard County. We're technically in phase two reopening, although we're watching things real closely because uh, they are reporting uptick in COVID-19. So obviously the word of the day is follow all the social distancing precautions. Make sure you're wearing the face mask out in public, that you're washing your hands, using the hand sanitizer and everything else like that so that we can stay safe and get to a really exciting thing that we're gonna be talking about today. And I'm so excited that we have with us a good friend of Helping Seniors. It's Ashley Caswell, who uh, we met first when you were in charge of marketing for Hibiscus Court, but you just do such a fantastic job that they've kicked you upstairs and you are now corporate director of marketing for the entire senior living management uh, company. So uh, I know that's a big deal, but thanks for taking time out of your schedule to be with us for Helping Seniors Updates. Oh yeah, it's my pleasure. I do have to say this. I know we're going to talk with Sharice uh, from Hibiscus Court next week on Helping Seniors Updates, but I was really impressed to see that you guys had this nice uh, story out on the social media that you've been very successful at keeping everybody safe that's involved with Hibiscus Court. Number one, I think that's a great testimony to the job you guys do there. But I also wanted to just ask you, you know, you must have, you guys must have really uh, figured out the right way to take advantage of all the precautions to keep everybody safe. You know, we're, we're doing our best. Um, and you know, our, our staff and our residents are, are doing their best to follow all the guidelines and take all the precautions and make sure we're always wearing our face coverings. Um, I'm not at a building right now, which is why I don't have one on. <laughs> um, but they're, they're really being vigilant um, and just keeping our, our residents' safety on the, you know, the forefront of everything they do. And, and that really is so important. Yeah, I was going to say, clearly you're not in the building. It looks like you're in the American Muscle Car Museum, which is actually what we're going to talk about. It was so exciting on Wednesday, both on the uh, Helping Seniors radio show, and then I got to do the Helping Seniors update together with our president and founder, Joe Steckler. And he had the big announcement, which was that we have a new date for the grand drawing for the 2020 Helping Seniors Car Raffle. And you said it better than I do, so I'm going to have you say it. Right, so our new drawing date is gonna be 10-10-2020. Um, and I don't think there's a better date for that. Um, that, sound, that sounds like a lucky number if you're, in, if you're into all that. <laughs> so it, it's really exciting. And one of the reasons why I asked if you would uh, be able to spare a few minutes and help us with this is because you've really been uh, part of the support team and really helped make so many things happen, particularly uh, helping us get organized on the actual event itself. You were instrumental in helping get things organized on the very first one we did, uh, which is, this is now our third, and then also last year and again this year. So, so appreciate all that. But tell us a little bit about uh, your experience with the Helping Seniors Car Raffle. You know, it's, it's such an amazing event, um, you know, to be in the museum and to just see all the, the cars. So the, the raffle ticket alone is, uh, I, when people walk for the first time, it literally takes their breath away because it's just such a cool thing to see um, all together. And I know they've gotten a ton of new cars since I've been there last. So I am really itching to go. Um, and I'm disappointed we weren't able to do um, our original day, but um, you know, it's just, it's a really awesome place. They're so nice to, to host our event. Um, and everyone at the event has such a good time. Um, and in the past, we've had such good, such good food sponsors and in-kind donations. It's really a, a great evening out on the, the town. Um, you know, it's just, it's a really cool place to be. You know, that really is what, what is so nice is that Mark Pylock is so generous in terms of opening up that facility, which has to be absolutely the premier collection of cars. I'm not even a car expert, but every time I walk in there, I'm like, oh my goodness, there's so many things to look at and see and do. And then on top of it, he's so generous. He creates such a great 
uh, evening because I think uh, last year he provided all the the, the beer and the uh, sodas and the waters for everybody. And then this year he said he's bringing in pizza for everybody. On top of that, then you, as you know, we've had all these wonderful desserts and things and snacks that uh, you really helped pull together. Like you got great community support from everybody helping to bring it in. So it's just, it's just been an amazing event out there and really looking forward to it. And so when you give your ticket or you get your ticket, a uh, ticket is $25 or $400 donation, you get five tickets. And each ticket does actually three things. Number one, it gives you a shot at picking the car that you want to win. And as, as uh, Ashley, you've written a lot of articles about uh, AJ Hires, who, is, who has worked with Joe for years on helping us with these car raffles. In fact, even before then, when Joe has, uh, ha was running the uh, Alzheimer's Foundation and they got the car raffle idea started. But this year, AJ has come up with a car dealership representative of each of our car, representative of each of his dealerships. So we get to choose from a 2020 Chevrolet Camaro, a 2020 Dodge Challenger, a 2020 Mazda Miata convertible, which is pretty cool. And even if you want to be a little bit more practical and sporty in the crossover world, a really cool 2020 Kia Sportage. So, I mean, those are some amazing cars, Ashley. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I'd take any of them, probably the Camaro. <laughs> um, and we get to pick our color, right? So, oh, of course, I don't know. absolutely. We show um, that's, a, that's a question that comes up a lot because we'll do we'll do the uh, uh, we'll have a car out on site, and someone says, "Well, I really like this, but my car my favorite color is this," and they're like, "Don't worry." AJ will work that out with you when you win your, you know, if you win the car. And so we were talking about that. We of course chose red cars because it fits in with the color of helping seniors. And mm -hmm. what you just said reminds me, you know, we put a just for fun uh, survey out on the helping seniors car raffle.com website, helping seniors car raffle.com. So you can do two things. You can go read all the information about the car raffle. You can also buy your tickets online. And I guess actually the third thing you could do while you're there is there's that just for fun survey. Tell us which car is non-binding. You can change your mind when you win it, but you know, but you can tell us which car you prefer. And it was interesting because just, just the last time I checked, it looked like the Chevrolet Camaro was just a nose ahead of the other ones. So we'll see what happens with all of that. So make sure you do get your tickets. If uh, you can call us on our senior information helpline, Kim, our, in, our education specialist, be happy to help you with that. Uh, she can take a credit card right over the phone or help you uh, organize to get tickets sent in by mail. 321-473-7770 is that number. 321-473-7770. Or you can go to helpingseniorscarraffle.com and get your tickets there. So in all cases, we are so looking forward to welcoming you to the Helping Seniors Car Raffle. So Ashley, I wanna, do you have any final thoughts? I mean, it's like, I just don't know what to say, except people, you gotta come out and have fun with this. Yeah, you know, and it's, the event's gonna be rain, shine, or social distancing, we'll, we'll do what we can. And if we, if we can't have everyone in the museum on that day, those tickets will be good for, for another day when we're able to. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a really great cause. Um, and seniors right now, they, they really need our support. Um, in general, seniors are isolated at home and they don't know of all the resources that are available to them. Right now, it's a thousand times worse. Um, so we really need to support the programs that support our seniors um, so that everyone can can get through this time of social distancing. Um, okay, um, so. No, you, you said it so right, and I'm glad you brought that point up because I wanted to make that clear, and I thank you for bringing that up. So absolutely, on 10-10-2020, as Ashley said, there will be a winner in the Helping Seniors Car Raffle. The plan is to have a full, wide open event for everybody to enjoy, and we're just believing that all the COVID restrictions will be uh, worked out and, and it will be fine for us to have a large gathering. 
But in the worst case scenario, we'll have the car giveaway on that day and we will rain check for the, uh, for the uh, museum if that needs to be the case for another day and we'll just have a, another opportunity for a party there. Mm -hmm. But please make sure you get in. I know, Joe, we were talking before we uh, were rolling for the, uh, for the Helping Seniors update that Joe was mentioning it's, a, it's an important time for seniors. We really need your support to keep, uh, to keep everything moving forward. The uh, Helping Seniors uh, helpline, as you might expect, has been busier than ever. Uh, lots of very, very uh, tough cases that Kim, our education specialist, has been helping with. I'm always amazed at how much difference our little organization is able to do and really help seniors. There's been over 3,000 families helped free of charge by helping seniors since Joe founded the organization. And it's just an honor to, to, to be part of something that's important and helping our community. So Ashley, as we kind of wrap it up for the weekend, do you have any uh, just happy thoughts or things or, or suggestions or advice for viewers? And uh, as we go into a weekend and hopefully, hopefully lowered COVID numbers in the coming weeks. Yeah. So um, my big suggestion is to wear your face covering out in public because it protects our seniors. You don't know if you're asymptomatic and spreading. So just go ahead and, and wear it. It's not for you, it's for them. Um, and you know, just enjoy your family time and your time and your downtime in this time of social distancing because that's not something we're always gonna have. So that's what I'm gonna be doing on my holiday weekend is just enjoying time with my family. Good, good advice. <laughs> well, thanks, Ashley. I really appreciate you. You've always been such a great friend for all the things going on with helping seniors and all things seniors, actually, too. So much continued success. Thanks for doing the good work you do. And thanks for helping us in helping seniors with a car raffle. Hope you have a good weekend. Okay. And, and hope you, viewer, do as well. We'll see you on Monday for Helping Seniors Updates.